Hey all, bit of a woodworking project today, fixing a table leg for my partner's kitchen table. So this is one of the hairpin table legs off of her vintage uh, 1940s or 50s kitchen table. Uh, the legs are held onto this wood block and this wood block holds it to the table. The problem is the threaded um, stud that went in here came out because the wood has split and it's got two of these little um, zigzag things in here which to me indicates that it had already been splitting and somebody had tried to fix it once and it's now not only spalled this piece off which made that one not effective but you can see the gap that has opened up even though that one's there so repairing this block of wood alone such that it can take another stud is just a short-term solution so what I've decided I'm going to do is take this piece of Baltic birch, which is nice and sturdy, and I'm going to sh pull these out, shave this down by the thickness of the Baltic birch, make a new plate that replaces the back of this with the correct angles on it, drill holes so that the screws that hold the table leg can also hold this to this, and then drill a hole in the middle of it where the stud was and put a carriage bolt through from the back side, make a little hollow here obviously, and then this is going to get glued down, screwed to the table leg, that'll keep these two pieces together. There'll then be a threaded carriage bolt sticking up that can be used to secure this to the table. If this goes well, it should be a completely invisible repair because I'm maintaining the outer surface of this block and it should be as strong or stronger than the original because everything's mechanically locked together as well as the two pieces of wood are going to be glued together. Step one is that I've got to get these out because I can't trim this down until I get these out because they'll just destroy my blade in a single pass. So let's get to it. All right, so this is even worse than I thought. It's split all the way down. It's barely holding itself together in any way. So it's very good that I'm doing it this way and not trying to patch it. But yeah, that's completely split all the way down the middle. So I think what I might end up having to do, is, and I think it's what I am going to have to do, is pull these apart, put some glue in there, clamp it so that the front edge is together, and let that glue dry before I go any further so that I'm treating this as one piece instead of two broken pieces. Um, so yeah, we're going to do that. It means we're probably going to come back to this either tonight or tomorrow. And in case you're wondering, yes, I am using the door off the 56 Cosmobile as a workbench because it's on my woodworking bench. And the reason it's on my woodworking bench is that parts for the art project that my partner is doing have taken over the welding bench. So, and she needed to do a bunch of grinding, so she wanted to do that outside. So we clamped her project, which is our new mailbox holder, to my auxiliary bench so we could carry it outside, which means that the auxiliary bench is taken up by that, and the welding bench is taken up by the parts for it, which means that I'm using the woodworking bench for a metalworking project, which means that I have to use that metalworking project for bench. My, my shop is a disaster. <laughs> I There's just stuff every... This is after I cleaned it. I spent an entire day cleaning and organizing and getting stuff put away and I sold a bunch of stuff or threw it out or whatever and this is still the mess that I'm living in. So, it is what it is. But yeah, let's get this clamped up and I will catch you tomorrow once this or whenever this has dried. Alright, day two. The glue has dried. This is now one piece. So what I need to do now is this is the back piece that's replacing it. I need to set the saw to the exact depth of this and then run this through it to take that much off the back so that my net total depth of this with this glue to it will be the same as it currently is.
All right, then the next step is recreating these bevels on either side. I actually cheated. The saw's already set to the right angle. I used one of these set against it to get the right angle and then set the saw to match. So basically what I'm going to do is just lop an edge off of this side. Once I have that cut, I'll do measuring about how wide it needs to be and cut the other side. Alright, so that now I've got my piece back to the same shape it was before, just now made out of two pieces of wood. So next step is drilling the hole in the center that the carriage bolt's gonna come up through and recessing this space just a little bit for the head of the carriage bolt, and then drilling through these four holes. Actually, wait, no, I'm gonna put the carriage bolt in and then I'm gonna glue it together. And then once the glue is dry, I'm going to drill these four holes through from the front and then do a little bit of countersinking in the back with a Forstner bit to make room for the screw head. And then this should be done. So I just went and test fit this to the table and I realized I messed up. If you look, mine is white. It's hard to see easily because of how chewed up it is. But mine is wider. What I didn't account for is Mine fits where this did, but I'm not accounting for the material that I took out. So this needs about a blade's width removed from it just to allow this to tuck in a little bit more. Alright, and now that this is dry and glued together, I'm going to drill out the four holes. So, on the original you can see how recessed... Oops. So, on the original you can see how recessed these screws were. Um, I'm going to not recess them quite as far, basically just enough to clear the angle because I want to leave as much material that the screw is biting into in this replacement piece just for maximum strength because the screw will hold this and this to the leg and the lag bolt will, or the, the, this will hold this piece to the table but I want a mechanical connection in both directions. So I'm going to take this over to the drill press with a Forstner bit and drill these down just enough for the screw to clear. Alright, and here it is all bolted back together. Sorry I didn't film myself screwing it together, but I got excited. Um, as you can see, the screw head's just barely clear, and they're in more than half this wood, so they're going to make for a good strong connection. And you can see there's still plenty of thread engagement 
in there so that's all nice and solid so structurally this is done i just packed the crack here with wood filler so that's gonna have to wait till tomorrow to dry and then i'm going to sand that um the legs are going to get touched up with cherry red they're going to get a quick sand and paint this is going to get touched up with some white just regular latex paint and then this will be able to go back on the table so there's the repaired table leg painted and reinstalled if you look really really carefully you can see the split but it's invisible you know under normal conditions um, the repair piece is completely invisible even though it's in there it's nice and solid more solid than an original one probably as you can see it's completely unidentifiable it's different from an original one so i'm going to call that one a win we got this table in our upstairs kitchen working again and it's good and solid and will probably last another 50 years talk to you later bye